slowly, in disbelief, they left court. Families who for three decades have fought tooth and nail just to get to this point, and who now know surely that no one will ever be held responsible in a criminal court for their loved one's deaths. Fans for three decades to see this day when Mr Duckerfield will be brought before a criminal court. What's just happened in there is just outrageous. The defence played... Sorry, I'm getting all mixed up. The prosecution. How on earth do you move on from this moment? I don't know what I'm going to do because uh, I, I, there's no closure because it's not the truth. But a jury disagreed, finding the former chief superintendent, David Duckenfield, not guilty of the gross negligence manslaughter of 95 Liverpool fans. It had been his job as match commander to ensure everyone attending the FA Cup semi-final was safe. His lawyers had argued that he'd done everything he could in the difficult circumstances when the crush began, given he'd only been promoted in the weeks preceding that ordering the gate open at the Leppings Lane end and not closing the tunnel under the stand had made him an unfair target of blame. The pens described as death traps, as accidents waiting to happen. In the 30 years since the gates were thrown open on this spot, the victims' families have always sought to hold to account the man who gave that order. But now a jury has found that David Duckenfield was not to blame. Their anger and their grief will not go away. Duckenfield did not give evidence in this trial, but has previously admitted his failures at Hillsborough, and now we can broadcast that admission from the inquests for the first time. Do you agree with the following? That you failed to recognise that there was a need to close that tunnel? I did fail to recognise that, sir, yes. And therefore failed to take steps to achieve that? I did, sir. And that failure was the direct cause of the deaths? of 96 persons in the Hillsborough tragedy? Yes, sir. At the inquest, all 96 were found to be unlawfully killed. In this trial, only 95 deaths were considered as Tony Bland died more than a year and a day later, preventing prosecution. In Liverpool, many more relatives and friends had watched the verdict via video link. System that's so morally wrong within this country, that's a disgrace to this nation. When 96 people, we say, they say 95, we say 96, were unlawfully killed. And yet not one person is accountable. The question I'd like to ask all of you, and people within a system, then who put the 96 in their graves? Indeed, after the verdict, Christine Burke had emotionally shouted towards the judge to ask who then was responsible for her father's death. It appears to be how so many of the families are feeling tonight. These criminal proceedings may be over. Their fight for those who no longer have a voice may never stop.